Well, Aaron, it is a mess out here, and it's going to take a long time to get all of these trees cleaned up. Take a look at what happened here. There's three trees that came down in this area, two big ones that split, and one of them ended up on top of this building doing some pretty serious damage. It's one of many places across the peninsula seeing falling trees and significant damage. Giant trees have been coming down across the peninsula, one right after another, blocking roads and knocking out power. I'm cooking on a camp stove. <laughs> Irene Masteller lives in Carmel, and she had a front row seat to see what took her power out, a huge evergreen on 10th Street that landed on her neighbor's home. And so this big gust came up, and I thought, whoa. And I looked across the street well, when that tree cracked and fell. She's experiencing her third power outage in about as many weeks. Meanwhile, others are on their second this winter. Now we've been here for two weeks and we've had four days of power outage of those 13 days. And so uh, the first 24 hours is kind of fun. It's like camping and then it gets old in a hurry. In Pebble Beach, down trees closed a portion of 17 mile drive and in Pacific Grove, they took out three rooms at the Best Western on Dennett. Basically, we had bad weather, trees fell, we had three trees that fell, they were dying, so that's what happened. In Carmel, the city issued emergency tree removal permits, but that wasn't soon enough to save this home's carport. It split at the top and came down and uh, hit the carport and the fence and, and uh, was uh, uh, lucky it didn't hit the power lines. Now this is the other half of this big tree that fell at this location. If you can believe it, tree crews were out here all day long cleaning up this mess. They did get one of those trees up, but there is just so much damage here. It's taking them a long time to get through all of it. And right now there are tree crews coming all the way from San Jose because everyone who's local is so backed up with business. Erin. For sure. All right. Thank you, Caitlin.